at the Otara Flea Market. We're talking to Gary Sterling. Tell me, what have you been up to this morning down here? I've been singing, actually, and looking and enjoying the market. I love the market. So it was a lot of joy, a lot of happiness. It's been great. It's fantastic. I, you know, um, if we didn't have to finish, maybe I'd go on another for another three songs. Do they have markets like this in Hawaii? Shopping centers. And you don't, you don't have this type of place um, in Hawaii. So this is quite special. So do you notice a similarity with the Polynesian people? You know, now that you're here in Aotearoa, we have the Maori and the Tongan and Samoan. Do you notice their link with the Hawaiian people? Oh, yes. Very much so. There is a great link in spirituality between the Polynesian people. Very much so. Now, one of the things I noticed you did this morning was a Hawaiian dance. Yes. So I think they like that here. Tell me about your Hawaiian dance. Well, you know, living in Hawaii for the past 23 years, uh, you, you can't stay somewhere without uh, something rubbing off on you. And, and uh, I love dancing and music, so I studied Hawaiian uh, music and uh, Hawaiian dancing. And so with that, you learn a bit of the language and, of course, you learn of the culture. And uh, so I love doing that. And when I travel, it shows the diversity of the, of the faith. Uh, so far as cultures are concerned also. So being able to do Hawaiian music that has beautiful meaning. To be able to share the Hawaiian culture with this culture is absolutely wonderful. So um, that's what I do, you know, and um, of course I sing in several different languages. <laughs> most glorious, it's the most great. Allahu Abha. Allahu Abha. Allahu Abha. Allahu Abha. Sing one for me. Allahu Abha. Allahu Abha. Allahu Abha. Allahu Abha. Allahu Abha. Everybody. could sing in Persian, did you? Maybe one day I'll learn to speak English. <laughs> Are you happy?
Are you happy? Yes! Listen, we come from Fiji, Marshall Island and Guam, Palau, Australia, and Hawaii. We're on a ship, sailing straight through the night. We're Ruhi Tudas of the ocean of life. We're Ruhi Tudas of the ocean of life. Ocean of life. Navigators of the ocean of life. Sailing. Straight through the night Ocean of light Sailing straight through the night Ocean of light We're navigating, navigating Ocean of light Learning, learning Ocean of light Memorizing, making friends Ocean of light We're navigating Ocean of light And now we are navigating Ocean of light Navigating Ocean of light Of the ocean of light Ocean of light Navigators of the Ocean of light Oh, isn't that nice? <laughs> what are you laughing ocean at? Ocean of light Stop laughing, you You stop laughing, I'm the one that's ocean singing the song I miss my you part. I miss my part. No, I miss my part. You be quiet. Shut up. Wait now, wait. Now. I'm trying to ocean sing. One more time. Navigator of the ocean. Ocean of light. Yeah. Navigator. Ocean of light. We're sailing through the night. Ocean of light. Navigator of the. Stop laughing. Stop laughing at me. Be quiet, ocean of light. Ocean of light. Oh my, look at this. Are you cold, sweetheart? <laughs> you are cold. Lovely, look at this. This is, no, 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 this is beautiful. This is lovely. Sit up. <laughs> This ain't no Spanish eyes, this is black eyes. At last, the skies are blue, it's blue. My heart was wrapped in clover. The night I fell for you. And you are Iranian? <laughs> He's a neighbor of Iranian. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, if you can tell you got some black in you somewhere. <laughs> I work with a lot of young people who want to be musicians, want to be famous, particularly Pacific Island and, and Maori young people. Do you have any words of advice for them, you know, how to pursue a career in this industry? I say go for it. But I also say that it should, your music life, your music um, profession should be um, backed up by some sort of spiritual background. It, that way you can handle a lot of things that come to you from, from left field. Um, drugs, because uh, obviously in the, in the music world, in the, in the world of acting, there are, in order for you to make it, you want it so bad, you can taste it, so you're, you're almost willing to do whatever you can to make it. Whatever they say I want you to do to make it, that, will what you, that is what you will do because you want to make it so bad that it doesn't matter that you have to give up uh, self-respect uh, in order to do it. And then later on, I promise you, later on, you're, you're sorry, you're very sorry that you've done it. Which means, give me my money and let me go home. <laughs> oh, are we on the jazz side now? I don't do something for you on the jazz side, I'm too old. This song goes out to those of you who've been, oh, the camera's on me. I love me. Yes, I do. I love me. Oh, wow. 
You are so beautiful. Oh, sorry, sorry. It's Mr. Saturday Day. Hey, they crowded the floor. Awfully different without you. I want you to enjoy yourself now. Don't get around much anymore. I thought I'd visit the club. Got as far as the door. They all ask me about you. I don't get around much anymore. something you really love you get joy out of singing um, any any sort of work but in entertainment field yet yeah, because it's it, it takes a lot of energy um, you have to deal with people you have to look at them you have to you have to give it's a lot of giving in performing and then you you get little sometimes from the audience of course when you see the smile on their face or the feet tapping or finger pat, you know that you're doing something good, so that helps. But they are there to see you entertain and to get from you because you have something that they want. That, that, that voice that you have or the music that you play, it touches their heart or their soul. Only song that I can sing And when I get to singing My message will be you will go That's your love, if that, if that is what you want to do, go for it. Focus on it, take time, learn your art, and go for it. There are, I'm sure, um, people out there who will see those potential, you know, for becoming a, a great person, a, a, a fantastic artist, a great artist, and knowing that what you will give will then return to you. And then you might even make some money out of it.
this morning, a lot of the Kiwis that were there, the choir and the dancers, they actually met you before at this big Baha'i conference in Hawaii. Tell us a bit about that conference. It was, the, it was called Fire in the Pacific. It was celebrating 100 years of the Baha'i faith in Hawaii, brought there by Agnes Alexander. We had this conference at the convention center in Hawaii. Baha'is arrived from all parts of the world to help celebrate uh, this centennial. From Japan, Fiji, uh, Samoa, all over the world. They were from Switzerland. of celebration there. There were friends from Tonga, of course New Zealand, Maori friends from New Zealand, from Africa. And then after, many of the Baha'is stayed to do travel teaching, to go to some of the other islands and help take the faith to the other friends through music and dancing, through the arts. Now you've used the word travel teaching, and I know Baha'is don't proselytize, but on the other hand, of course, our message is important to us, and you know, we'd like to share it with the world if they're keen on knowing. So tell us about travel teaching. Well, like you said, the, the, in the faith we don't proselytize, but we have to get the message out to people. We have to let people know that Baha'u'llah has come. So we do it through many different avenues, and one of them is the arts. We sing, uh, or we perform at shopping centers, uh, like today, we performed at the um, Otara Flea Market. Otara Flea Market, which I really loved. I didn't find a t shirt, but. I love the markets! I love the markets! I want t shirts! I want some t shirts! <laughs> what do you think? Is it me? They're closing up! They didn't wait for me! I'll open the truck! <laughs> up comes the truck! <laughs> Music is the, the, the key that draws people together. You speak to them about uh, why we're here. We're here to deliver a message. We have a gift to deliver to you that uh, Baha'u'llah has come. And this is one of the ways we do it, uh, through the arts, through music and dancing. Listen here. The A-bombs are set to blow. One push, and there they go. It's a new kind of song. Love and justice, it can't go wrong. All the nations, all the nations must agree. Bombs destiny. It's a new kind of song. Everybody ought to sing. Listen, I want to talk to the heads of states. Please. Mr. President, the message has long been sent in a new kind of song. 
Is expensive? <laughs> Only ten dollars. I'll give you fifteen. Okay. <laughs> How did your family back in North Carolina react to you becoming a Baha'i? <laughs> <laughs> My mother didn't react very well because I was um, quite active in the church, and I had to go to church every Sunday morning. I'd get up early get ready and off to Sunday school and then uh, I would sing in the junior choir and quite active in the church and uh, so when I became a Baha'i it was not a very happy time for my mother and then after a week um, she saw the change in me and I was I was happy because I was I was kind of a loner and um, I didn't speak very much very often to anyone except you know if I was asked a question it would be yes no directly and then after becoming a Baha'i something changed within my heart and she saw the difference in me and after about a week or two she sort of mellowed out but then the church weren't too happy with me either because I was active in the church and of course Baha'u'llah says ignorance is only the lack of knowledge I've got a lot of resistance from the the members of the church because they didn't know what it was and of course if you don't know something, you don't know what it is, sometimes we don't take the time to find out. And this is one of the wonderful uh, principles of the Baha'i Faith that I enjoy, which is independent investigation of truth. Everyone must search out truth for themselves. We all have our own individual souls. We come into this world alone, and when we die, we die alone. We have to account for our own selves. My mother always had a soft spot for those less fortunate than she was. Mum would find a stray dog and take it to the pound, only to return with three more. She'd avoid lunch invitations with other housewives, preferring instead to become good friends with the house painter or her hairdresser. The fact was that Mum opened her heart and our home family. My sister and brother and I came to call ourselves the three of Sounds the alarm. He 
doesn't do it like the other roosters do. He sings cock a doodle doo to you to you to you to you. He's a singing, swinging rooster. He loves to improvise. He's the kind of clucker who was born to harmonize. And every day at dawn, as the sun begins to rise, you can hear him do the barnyard boogie. the country everybody's heard about the barnyard boogie and the one they call the bird Phantoms and leghorns that can't resist the beat bobbing up and down while they're dancing with the feet he's a singing swinging rooster he loves to improvise he's the kind of clucker who was born to harmonize and every day at dawn as the sun begins to rise you can hear him do the barnyard boogie fresh and sweet cars will be lined up and down the lane but once you've heard him crow you'll understand just why they're saying he's a singing swinging rooster he loves to improvise he's the kind of clucker who was born to harmonize and every day at dawn as the sun begins to rise you can hear him do the barnyard boogie Swinging rooster, he loves to improvise. He's the kind of clucker who was born to harmonize. And every day at dawn, as the sun begins to rise, you can hear him do the. You can hear him do the. You can hear him do the. Barnyard boogie. Well, thank you very much, Gary Sterling, for coming and being on Behind Air and for your wonderful pearls of wisdom. Thank you very much. I hope to see you all again. Thanks, Gary. And thank you for joining us on Behind on Air. So, talofa, kia ora, ka kite, and thanks to Gary Sterling. Bye bye. Yeah, I love her.